Hello and welcome to Mount Calvary's Daily Devotion for Tuesday, March 26th. As we continue to look at this forgiveness challenge, as we continue this week to look at the word and the theme and the life that comes with sanctification. The title of today's devotion is Invitation from Jesus. What a person to get an invitation from. What a person to be welcomed, to welcome us into the party, the life, the family. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Jesus not only invites us into his kingdom, into eternal life with him, but he also invites us into his family. He invites us into his family. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, my dad always told me one thing every time, no matter what it was, when I went on a field trip, when I was going on a sleepover, when I was going with anyone outside of my family, he said, remember, you not only represent yourself, but you represent me and this family. That's what sanctified living is. We not only represent ourselves, but we represent Jesus. We represent God in this world. We're his hands and feet. We're meant to represent him in the way we live our lives, in the way that we make decisions, in the way that we look different from society. And Jesus invites us into that family. Jesus invites all people, no matter their background, no matter what they've done, no matter how many mistakes they've made, Jesus invites them into his family. And today we're going to read about a time where someone receives an invitation from Jesus. It's going to be out of Luke chapter 19, starting at verse 1. And this is a story that some of you I'm sure have heard. And I just hope that we today we look at it with open eyes as we read about Jesus and Zacchaeus. He entered Jericho and was passing through. And there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was very rich. And he was seeking to see who Jesus was. But on account of the crowd, he could not, because he was small of stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him. For he was about to pass that way. When Jesus came to the place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, hurry and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he hurried and he came down and received him joyfully. And when they saw it, they all grumbled. He has gone in to be a guest of a man who was a sinner? And Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save the lost. There's a couple things we hear about in this story. First off, we know Zacchaeus was not a very likable man. Zacchaeus was not a man many people liked, as tax collectors weren't at the time. But not only is he a tax collector, he is a chief tax collector. Which we may summarize as he is one of the worst of the worst. And you see when Jesus sees him up in that tree and invites him down, gives him that invitation, all the other people around are scoffing, are grumbling, saying he goes with him a sinner? Newsflash, we're all sinners. That's how we started this journey on scars. We sin, we mess up. We disobey God. We go against God's commandments and rules for us all. So Zacchaeus was not a likable man. He was not liked by many, if any, in his town. But that's who Jesus invites at that point. And we may ask, why does Jesus invite this man? Why does Jesus go to this man and not someone who is of repute faith or is, who is of stronger faith? Well, that's who Jesus is. Jesus invites all people. Jesus invites you no matter where you come from or what you've done wrong. And what we take away from this story 
is Zacchaeus' life has changed. We're not told the conversation that takes place in his house, but we are told that he says, Lord, if I have, I will give half of what I own to the poor, I will repay everyone what I owe them in four times that amount. You see, because when Jesus, when we receive the invitation from Jesus, when we receive this encounter with Jesus, not only do we change, but our lives change to reflect the inward change. That's what sanctified living is all about. That's what sanctified living is. We are living in response to how we have had an inward change in our hearts, in our souls, and in our minds because of Jesus. We have an inward change that now reflects to an outward change. This happens many times in the scripture. The woman at the well has an invitation from Jesus. She doesn't even know it when she's going to get water. However, after Jesus encounters her, now she lives a life vibrant for Christ. And the, the whole town cannot help but see. There's a man possessed by a demon. And when Jesus heals this man, he says, Lord, let me come with you as Jesus departs. But Jesus says, no, you need to tell your story here. Your new life, your sanctified life starts here. You and I have stories to tell. You and I have received invitations from Jesus. You and I are forgiven by God. And we are called to live new lives as those believers, as those who are forgiven, as those who the title of day 37 turns from scars to stars. We turn the scars that we have, the mistakes that we've made, the forgiveness we've been given into being a star for Christ and into being a sanctified Christian. Not that we live so we earn something, but we live because we've already received Jesus and the forgiveness we have in him. So let us remember that as we go out into our daily lives, we're meant to be sanctified Christians living for Jesus. I'd ask you to pray with me. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your son Jesus and the invitation into your kingdom and into your family that we receive through him. Lord, you forgive us every time we make mistakes and come to you asking. You forgive us any time we go against your word and against your will. Lord, you forgive us no matter what mistakes we've made, and we thank you so much for that, Lord, and we pray that we would live sanctified lives, new lives, reflecting that love and that forgiveness that you have shown us. I pray you keep us safe this day and bring us back tomorrow. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. I pray you have a great day, that you'd be a blessing to someone you come in contact with, and that I would see you again tomorrow.